Since the 1950s, traffic congestion has substantially increased in urban areas due to population growth. The average American commuter wastes two days and six hours a year in traffic delays. This has made the dream of small flying cars or taxis and their business opportunities to be hot stuff in recent years. We have talked about a number of flying cars and taxi projects on this channel, and in this video, we are going to talk about the new ones which were unveiled recently. Meet the Lyft Hexa. Hexa is an all-electric single-passenger air taxi aimed primarily at tourism and short-distance air travel. This ultralight aircraft is fitted with four perimeter floats that provide stability and a large central float which provides buoyancy for safe water landings. With a total empty weight of 432 pounds, Hexa can carry a 250-pound passenger for up to 15 minutes of flight time. For safety measures, Hexa is equipped with an autonomous ballistic parachute, and it can also fly and land safely, even if up to six of its 18 motors are disabled. Lyft Aircraft is one of the 15 companies which are members of Agility Prime, the United States Air Force initiative to accelerate the commercial market for advanced air mobility vehicles. Introducing Bell Nexus 4EX, a 7,000 pound air taxi that can hit speeds of up to 150 miles per hour and can travel up to 60 miles while carrying four to five passengers, plus a pilot. The Nexus is equipped with four tilting ducted rotors and it can operate as an electric only or a hybrid electric vehicle. With a hybrid platform, the Nexus 4EX can extend its range and travel farther. The 4EX is the company's second version of the Nexus. The original version used six rotors instead of four. According to Bell, the four-rotor design reduces drag and is, therefore, more efficient in cruise mode. This is Boeing Passenger Air Vehicle, or PAV. It is a new generation electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL passenger aircraft or air taxi designed and developed by Boeing for safe, on-demand urban air transportation. Designed for fully autonomous flight from takeoff to landing, the PAV is able to autonomously transport passengers, plan routes, respond to contingencies, and detect and avoid unexpected obstacles. Not much is provided about speed and payload weight, but the company says it's designed for urban commutes with typical ranges up to 50 miles. Meet Seraph. This 12-rotor British electric flying taxi can carry passengers and goods weighing up to 550 pounds at speeds up to 50 miles per hour. It features a unique passive cooling system and modular design so that it can be made larger or smaller, fitted with wheels or floats to facilitate water landings. The Seraph was built by the company to test new technologies and systems, which will be used in the upcoming passenger model, the VA-X1. The VA-X1 will be capable of carrying up to five people. It is set to be the world's first certified winged all-electric VTOL aircraft and is on course to start commercial flights in 2024.
Meet Elroy, manufactured by Astro. This flying car is slightly larger than a compact car, but it is unexpectedly quiet and can fit into most garage spaces. With its high-performance electric motors, this electric-powered vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can carry two passengers and travel at speeds up to 44 miles per hour, with a flight time of 20 to 25 minutes. Elroy was specifically designed with wide cabin glass for optimal comfort and a 360 degree surround view for a unique travel experience. Introducing the City Airbus. This is a fully electric 4,850 pound air taxi manufactured by Airbus. The City Airbus is an autonomously piloted EVTOL and has a cruising speed of roughly 75 miles per hour, up to 15 minutes of flight time. Powered by four 140 kilowatt batteries, its four sets of counter-rotating ducted propellers can each provide 881 pounds of thrust for a payload of up to 551 pounds. The City Airbus is the successor of Vahana, the company's first air taxi model. Like its predecessor, City Airbus is also being used to gather insights that will guide the development of Airbus's future EVTOL models. Introducing Heaviside, a high-performance electric VTOL vehicle by Kitty Hawk. After the successful 25,000 flights of its first flying car project, the Flyer, the company has decided to focus more on the heavy side, a vehicle which they hope it can be turned into a viable business venture. Kitty Hawk claims the craft's electric propulsion system, tiny proportions, and aerodynamic shape make it roughly 100 times quieter than a regular helicopter and it can cover a 55-mile distance in 15 minutes while using less than half the energy of a car. Introducing SkyDrive SD03, a Toyota-backed flying car that is billed as the smallest electric VTOL. Equipped with eight rotors that help it fly safely even if there's a motor failure, this one-seat SkyDrive model can fly for only five to 10 minutes at a low speed of several miles per hour. The next version is expected to have a speed of up to 40 miles per hour and an extended flight duration of 30 minutes. With a length of 13 feet and 6.6 .6 feet of height, the SD03 is just small enough to fit into two average parking spaces and ideal for urban use. The company is currently waiting for approval for flights beyond the test field by the end of 2020, and it expects a two-seat commercial vehicle by 2023. What do you think of these projects? Do you think we will have flying taxis for the general public anytime soon? Please let us know in the comments section below. 
If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.